everyone. We're going to talk about the parts of leaves today. You know, humans, we like to name everything. We didn't just want to call this a leaf. We wanted to name each and every little part of the leaf. Come closer and have a look. This part of the leaf, the green bit that we see, that's called the blade or the lamina. That's where the plant makes its food. Look here. These are the veins of the leaf. Veins are like little pipes that help get the water and the food to the leaves and back down to the roots and the rest of the tree. This part is called the petiole. And the petiole is what attaches the leaf to the branch and turns the leaf so that it can always be in the sun. Why do leaves always want to be in the sun? That's right, they want to make their own food. Let's label these parts of the leaf so we can see how they're written. Do you remember this part was called the blade? Blade. That is the blade. Do you remember these were called the veins? And who remembers oh, who remembers what that part was called? The petiole. That's right. Petiole, blade, and veins. I wonder if all leaves have these parts. I've got some more leaves for us to look at. Does this leaf have a blade? Does this leaf have veins? And does this leaf have a petiole? Yes, it does. I wonder about this leaf. It's a completely different shape. Does it have a blade? Can you see the veins? Can you see the petiole? Even our grenadilla bush. It's a completely different shape to what we've seen before. But it's got a blade. It has veins. And it has a petiole. Why don't you go look in your garden? and see if you can find leaves that have blades and veins and petioles. Another thing you can do is once you've found your leaves, is you can make a leaf rubbing. You can put down your leaf, put a piece of paper on top. It doesn't have to be best paper, it can have printing on the other side. Be sure not to move your leaf. Hold your crayon sideways. <gasps> Look at that. We've made a leaf rubbing of the veins and the petiole. I wonder which leaves will give us a better rubbing. Let's try this one. This is something you can do at home. You can use lots of colors. Look at that. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with this. You could cut them out, you could stick them down, you can do all sorts of things. Use your imagination and let's see how you can learn about the blade, the veins and the petiole. I hope you enjoyed learning a few parts of the leaf today. Do you think we've learned everything there is to learn about leaves? Not at all. There's still so much we can learn. Tomorrow we're going to learn something new together. See you soon.